See, listen, I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions, and we're going to decide how we're going to have this conversation, because I can go two different ways. Number one, I can feed you ice cream and make you feel good, okay, like a three, four, five-year-old, and some of you guys need that, because you get your feelings hurt every time somebody tells you the truth. And that's why you don't change, and that's the reason why you're fucking broke. And that's the reason why you don't have a team. That's why your children don't look up to you as your hero. And that's why your wife doesn't admire you. And that's why you look in the mirror and you fucking hate you. Or I can give you the cold, hard truth and, and teach you and treat you like the badass as you want to be. First of all, this isn't about me. We got that? This is about fucking you. I was born in 1979. I'm 43 years old. And I woke up at 39. You guys don't want to waste any more fucking time in your life. One day you're going to regret it. No. You know what? I regret thinking that it's not possible back in the old days. I know it's possible now. If I was to die today, I'm good. Okay? But I'm going to keep getting better. I'm getting more dangerous every day, and I want to show my team that. Every day I come into work, I'm a different man. Every day. Not once a week I'm different. Every day I'm different. Which means everybody that's in my company sees me change every day. Trust me, like you, you need to understand, the goal is to get it all. I'm gonna explain why I don't stop. The key is to be present because we can have it all and there are no limits. And once you get to a mountain, if you don't create another mountaintop, within due time, you'll lose it all. And people that are, are growers, people that wanna go to the next level, people that are impact players, people that are world changers, dude, we live off the next thrill. Like we live off the next challenge. Like the minute that there's challenges that aren't in front of me, like honestly, dude, I'm afraid what will happen to me. There was a time in my life that I was dead and I didn't like me. And at those times, I didn't have big, crazy dreams. And dude, I don't ever want to go back to that. So I just want to say to you guys, like, the only time that people settle is when their dreams aren't very big. People with small dreams settle. People with small dreams stop. So if it's eight, 10, a billion dollars, a trillion, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's a million employees, if it's one employee, if it's a six pack, if it's a 20 pack, if it's gaining a lot of muscle, whatever it is, there just has to be more. Raise your hand right now if you're an underdog. Seriously, if you're an underdog, I want you to raise your hand right now. I want to tell you something. What I've learned is what we don't have as a kid, we crave as an adult. I never had any love as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. I never had any money as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. My mom abandoned me when I was a kid, so loyalty I never had, I wanted it. I crave loyalty, I crave trust, I crave uh, being financially free. I, I didn't want to be embarrassed anymore. Okay, I wanted to call my own shots and to live a life that count. Now listen, I will tell every one of you, if you don't believe in you right now, I swear I will come through this camera, I will throw you through a freaking window. Because in order for you to self-sabotage your own life, that is disrespectful to God.